Hello, I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the nonprofit Break the Cycle website. That site uh, offers eight self study lessons whose purpose is to help you reduce stress in your life and live more successfully. Lesson two out of these eight lessons is a summary of what I've learned over 40 years of studying interpersonal communication skills. I'm a professional therapist, a researcher, and a teacher. And my conclusion, after many years of working with hundreds, over a thousand people, is most people don't know how to communicate effectively. They don't know what they don't know. So this series of videos is an attempt to pass on concisely some important things that I've learned that can help people like you communicate more effectively. That means get your needs met more often. This tip has to do with something that many people are not aware of, at least consciously. Uh, the idea is this. Any person, an adult or a child, when they're in contact with another person can fluctuate among four different awareness zones. Awareness is being consciously alert to several things. The first zone is yourself. I am aware of what I feel, what I think, what I need, what I'm doing, and perhaps how I'm relating to you. That's a one-person awareness bubble, and it's just about you. You don't have much awareness of the person you're with. The second zone or awareness bubble that you may have, and depends on the circumstance and the person and who you are, the second awareness bubble type is you're focused exclusively or mostly on the other person. You're paying close attention to your perception of what the other person thinks, feels, needs, is doing, and seems to feel about you. So that's also a one-person bubble, but in this case it's focusing on the other person and you're largely unaware of what's going on inside of you. The third and best possible communication awareness bubble out of four can be called a two-person bubble. It's a combination of these first two and it says at this time and for this period of time that we're communicating together, I'm pretty much aware of what I'm thinking, feeling, and doing, and what you seem to be thinking, feeling, and what are you, what you're doing. I'm aware of your voice dynamics, your body language, and mine. I'm aware of the process that's going on between us. Is it peaceful? Is it conflictual? Is it change? Is it stable? Um, what's going on in you, in me, and between us? That's a two-person awareness bubble. You can imagine invisible bubbles around each of two persons' heads that shrink and expand um, with moment by moment, depending on their needs and their perceptions about what's going on and any distractions in their outer environment that may occur. Telephones ringing, kids yelling, uh, the lights going out, whatever. So, you can have a bubble around yourself, in which case your partner feels excluded, excluded and not very important. You can exclude yourself and be aware of your other partner, which often is a sign of codependence, if it's chronic. Or you can have a two-person bubble, where you're pretty much aware <coughs> of what's going on in the other person and yourself. <coughs> I mentioned there are four zones. The fourth zone is the worst of all in terms of communication effectiveness. It is, I'm not aware of me. I don't know what I think. I don't know what I need. 
I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not aware of you. I have no clue what's going on between us. My mind and my bubble is focused somewhere else. Maybe the past, maybe the future, maybe a beach in Tahiti. Uh, I am largely unaware of what's happening in and between you and me. That's a no person bubble. So there are four bubbles to be aware of. If you don't have a two person bubble, you can improve the, your communication effectiveness by confronting that, talking openly with your partner about that, trying to find out what's in the way of your having and sustaining a two-person bubble. Lesson two in the Break the Cycle website will give you seven skills. Anyone can learn them. They're free. Use these seven skills. The first of the seven skills is awareness. Use this skill and the others once you find that your awareness bubbles are either on the other person or on you or in Tahiti, use the skills to say, wait, let's see if we can't mutually achieve a two-person bubble. We'll both get our needs met better in a way that feels good to us. That's the point of this tip. If you want more information and more tips, I hope you'll invest some time in yourself and the relationships that are important to you, especially your children, by studying Lesson 2 at the Break the Cycle website. Thanks for watching.